Hello everyone. Today, we're exploring Buspur, known generically as Buspirone. As always, this is for educational purposes only. For any health-related questions or concerns, please consult a medical professional. Description Buspirone, widely known by its brand name Buspur, is a medication primarily used for the treatment of anxiety disorders. It falls under the category of anxiolytics, specifically acting as a serotonin receptor agonist. Unlike some other medications for anxiety, buspirone does not have sedative properties and is not habit-forming. It works by affecting neurotransmitters in the brain, particularly serotonin and dopamine, which can help reduce anxiety and improve symptoms of generalized anxiety disorder, GAD. Buspirone is typically prescribed as a part of a comprehensive treatment plan, including psychological therapy and lifestyle modifications. Warnings It's important to note that buspirone is not an immediate relief medication for anxiety. It may take several weeks to feel its full effect. This medication is not recommended for use during acute episodes of anxiety or panic attacks. Buspirone should not be taken in combination with monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, as this can lead to dangerous interactions. Patients with severe liver or kidney impairment should use buspirone with caution, as it is metabolized in the liver and excreted by the kidneys. Before taking this medicine Before starting buspirone, disclose to your healthcare provider any history of allergies to the medication. Inform your doctor if you have any liver or kidney disease, as these conditions may affect how your body processes the medication. It's also crucial to tell your healthcare provider if you're pregnant, planning to become pregnant, or breastfeeding. Before taking buspirone, inform your doctor if you're consuming grapefruit or grapefruit juice regularly, as grapefruit can increase the levels of buspirone in your bloodstream. You should not take buspirone if you are currently taking MAOIs or have taken them in the past 14 days. Inform your healthcare provider about all medications you're currently taking, including prescription, over-the-counter drugs, and herbal supplements, as they might interact with buspirone. Side Effects Common side effects of buspirone include dizziness, headache, nausea, nervousness, lightheadedness, and excitement. These are generally mild and tend to diminish over time. However, if these symptoms persist or worsen, contact your doctor. Rare but serious side effects can occur, such as mood changes, unusual movements, or trouble speaking. If you experience symptoms like chest pain, shortness of breath, or an irregular heartbeat, seek medical attention immediately. Interactions Buspirone can interact with other medications, altering how your body processes either buspirone or the other drugs. This includes certain antidepressants, antifungals, antibiotics, and medications for HIV, AIDS. Alcohol can increase the sedative effect of buspirone, so it's advisable to limit or avoid alcohol consumption while taking this medication. Dosage The dosage of buspirone must be tailored to the individual, based on response and tolerability. The usual starting dose is 7.5 mg twice a day. Your doctor may gradually increase the dose, but the maximum dosage should not exceed 60 mg per day. Consistent dosing is important for the effectiveness of the medication. Avoid While taking buspirone, it's recommended to avoid alcohol and not to consume large amounts of grapefruit or grapefruit juice. Be cautious when performing tasks that require alertness, such as driving, until you know how buspirone affects you. FAQ A common question about buspirone is regarding its potential for addiction. Unlike some other anxiety medications, buspirone is not known to be habit-forming. However, it's essential to use it only as prescribed by your healthcare provider. Closing That concludes our overview of buspirone, or Buspur. Remember, this information is for educational purposes and is not a substitute for professional medical advice. Always consult with your healthcare provider regarding any concerns or questions about this medication. Thank you for listening.